We have already told you about such interesting devices as Thyrotron, but we did not touch upon the group of glow cathode thyrotrons. So, glow cathode thyrotrons are for the most part powerful gas discharge control devices and similar to gas filled diodes, belong to the devices of non self maintained arc discharge in inert gases. They intended to rectify and uh, transform AC currents of the main frequency of 50 Hz. In addition to rectifying and transforming, some types of thyrotrons are used depending on power in electric drives, relaxation circuits, in relays, inverters, control, safety and welding devices. Powerful glow cathode thyrotron is a three electrode rectifying device having an anode, a cathode and a grid designed to control the ignition. In some cases, powerful thyrotron may be used in the gas field diode mode. For this purpose, the grid is connected to the cathode by active resistance or a small positive potential relative to the cathode is transmitted to the grid. Thyrotron grid has low permeability, so the anode field has practically no effect in the cathode area. Therefore, without providing negative bias and zero grid potential, thyrotrons withstand high voltage between the anode and cathode. High anodic current determine the use of either the multi-perforated or the multi-array type of grid, and the latter type of grid is more typical for high power devices, while multi-perforated grids are used mainly in thyrotrons of low and medium power. The advantages of multi-array grid are the lower mass of the grid, lower starting current, minor voltage drops across the grid, and consequently lesser heating of the grid in the discharge, finally more uniform and anode loading. When the thyrotrons, which performed the same functions as thyrotrons, but were solid state devices with all their inherent advantages were introduced, it has led to a dramatic decline in the use of thyrotrons. So it turned out reasonable to use thyrotrons for rectification of high operating voltages. However, the gas field thyrotrons could not be used for this purpose because the intensive inert gas was absorbed during operation, which caused rapid failures of the device. Nowadays, only mercury thyrotrons are used as high voltage rectifiers. However, mercury thyrotrons were able to operate in the temperature range from 15 to 40 degrees Celsius, which significantly limits their application field. At the same time, thyrotrons have some advantages in comparison with uh, thyristors, high available pulse currents and voltages of and high operation speed. Therefore, at the present time, hydrogen thyrotrons are widely used as pulse switches.